So this is a video series on kind of a whack-a-mole game where, um, you know, once you click start, you know, a sprite jumps around the screen and then, you know, as a player tries to, you know, basically click on it. And if you do it, the score changes by one. Okay. So I just got one point and now I got two from, from clicking on it. Okay. Now I want to get, you know, a little more of the details and talk about, you know, kind of, you know, more, uh, you know, more precise, um, you know, placement of images, because um, we were pretty loose in our code before. Um, and, you know, so one thing I want to show you is, you know, if I move Tomas to the left edge of the screen, notice my X is not zero, it's 25, right? And that's because the X and Y coordinate of an image sprite tells you the center of that sprite. So like if I move him about halfway in, you know, now my X is zero. Okay, so just one one kind of key thing to understand is the X and Y refer to the location of the center of the sprite, you know, relative to the canvas. And you you kind of notice the same thing if we go to the top. Um, you know, I need to be right about halfway in, or a little bit higher. Sorry, and it's hard to get exactly. There's Y is three, so I need to go a little higher. Negative two, sorry. There's Y is one. I don't know if I can get exactly Y is zero. Uh, anyway, you get my idea. If if he was exactly halfway up, you know, so half is the image is below and, and half you can't see, Y would be zero. And I, in fact, I could just go down here and set that, and and that's where it is. Okay, so. So the X and Y coordinates are the center of the sprite. And that's that's what one thing you want to know. Now, so let's look at our blocks. And what we were doing, you know, with our randomness was zero was the smallest number for our X and Y, and then the full width and height for the for the other side. And really, you know, we we kind of you know, for Tomas to be on the left edge, we really want his middle his his the center of the image um to 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 be you know halfway over right or half the length of the sprite over so you know if if uh you know tomas is right here you know he, he really the center of the sprite is you know half the half the width of the image over Okay, so programmatically, we really want this zero to be half the width over. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable, and you know I'm just going to call this the left, um, you know, smallest left or smallest x. Okay, and I'm just going to set it to zero to start, but what I'm going to do is compute that and I'm going to say, let's set smallest X and what we're going to set it to is one half of the width. Okay. So I'm going to go over and grab, you know, the width of a Sprite. Um, so let's see, I can just, I think I can grab this guy. No, that's, I can't grab visible, but I just want to get one of the Sprites properties so i think if i pull out height but i can change it to width so i really want to take the width of the sprite so that's the you know the whole width not of the stage of the sprite and i want to divide it by two okay and that way the smallest x you know really i don't want the smallest x to be zero i want it to be half of the width of the sprite Okay, so once I get that, I'm just going to stick this in for my for my zero. Okay, um, same thing for for the y. So I'm going to create a new variable called smallest y. Okay, um, just to initialize it, I'll stick a zero in there. But I'm going to compute it, and I'm going to say set my smallest y. And it's pretty close to this guy. I'm just going to copy Command C, Command V, but I really want it to be the height divided by two. Okay, and that's the the smallest y, 
that I should, should get. And so I can change this guy to smallest y. Okay, this width and height is not exactly right either. And let me just kind of give you an idea why. If I go back over here, if I want him to show up right here, you know, his center is, is not on the, on the right edge, right? The center of this image is half, half away from that, okay? Um, so if I go back to my blocks, you know, what is gonna be um, my largest X? Okay, so I'm gonna create a new variable for largest X. And what it's gonna be is the width of the whole stage, you know, like I have here, but then I'm gonna subtract half of the width of the sprite. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a subtract. And what I want is this width, the stage's width, um, but then I'm gonna subtract um, half of the, oh wait, sorry. I just need to, I can't do these formulas uh, when I, when I, um, when I, when you initialize a variable, you just have to initialize it to some number. And then when you're actually coding, you can code it. And now I'm going to say, I want to change my largest X and my largest X is going to get set to the width of the stage. And then what I want to put here is one half of the sprites width. Okay, so I can just grab this block. Okay, so the, the biggest X should be is, I don't really want to go all the way the width because really half of the sprite would be off, off the screen. Um, but instead I'm gonna subtract just half of the, the sprites width. Okay, and then, you know, almost the same thing as my largest Y and I'll just call this largest Y. Initialize it to zero. And then I'm just gonna copy command C, command V, but I'm gonna change this to largest Y. Now I care about the height of my stage and the height of my width divided by two. All right, I'm gonna just test this. I want to make sure it works. Okay, when I click start, Tomas jumps around. It looks like it's staying within the stage, just, just like I wanted to. Okay, anyway, let's just quickly look back at the blocks. Um, you know, now we're, we're just being a little more precise with how we, we set these, these variables. And you know, a lot of times in in kind of canvases and you know, low, you know, placing sprites, you're gonna to wanna to be quite precise. And this just gives you a little better understanding of how, how it works.